All right, guys, we are about 12,000 feet above elevation or above uh, sea level right now. It is taking a toll on us for sure. And you do the slightest thing and you're out of breath. Um, it was hard for us to sleep last night. I, I didn't sleep. Did you guys sleep? No, it was really rough. It was cold too. I slept okay. It was below freezing for sure. Yeah, there was some there was ice. ice crystals on the inside of our tent from the condensation. And this morning we're riding past some like just small like ponds. Frozen. They're frozen. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know when you're down on your luck, the only thing to bring you back up is the top three. So you gotta give the people what you want. So before we did top three TV dramas, now we're doing top three TV comedies. All right, so I will start. I think it's uh, you go. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's still pulling the thing together, man. All right. Um, I think it's uh, it's a, it's a popular one. Everyone, everyone loves it. It was uh, voted like the best. Car Whatever. Seinfeld. What? So, 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 like 20 years later, those those jokes are still, still relative. It is, it is just genius. So, Seinfeld for me. I think we could all agree that that is the number one show. That's the number one. So, so, do. so if I didn't go first, someone else would have said Seinfeld. We all Seinfeld. would have said Seinfeld. That's the number one show. We are all in agreement with that. So, should we just kick it out? No. All right. Fine. All right. So, I'm going to take one that, um, I don't really like that much, but I know a lot of people do, especially J Dog here. So I'm gonna take it off the take it off the plate and go for him. Oh, strategy. Dude. Friends. Friends, okay. It's uh not that good. Not that good. <laughs> it's just okay. Whatever. You guys don't know what you're talking Phoebe, about. Phoebe, that person can't exist. <laughs> the only one that's semi-realistic is Joey. How you doing? How you doing? Alright. My number one will be The Simpsons. Oh, that's a good one. Great one. I was thinking that the other day. But it was strategy to take it off the board for you. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't gonna pick it, so. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. You talk about it every day. Alright. Yeah, I probably would get in. Okay, Ross. <laughs> so, number two for me has to be The Office. I will watch that show whenever. Like, whatever episodes, I will just hear it. Wherever, whenever. Wherever, oh, yeah. whenever. International Superstar shows. But, uh,. Love The Office. I mean, great, great show, great characters. Mm -hmm. Michael Scott, Toby, that relationship is one of the best. On TV. Shut up about Toby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would go with one that, uh, you know, it's not as like iconic as like Seinfeld or The Office, but it was so funny that maybe it was like the show that I always laughed the hardest at, and it's 30 Rock. Um, That's a great one. Yeah. Alec Baldwin's character in that show, Tracy Morgan. Uh, I just love that show. I can watch those reruns on Netflix all the time. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a solid choice, solid choice. I think one of the things that makes me laugh the most these days, and it was gone too soon, only about four episodes, is the cave. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What uh, name <laughs> Way the Rock Johnson are you talking about? <laughs> the guy go cave. Uh, <laughs> no, I pick for my number two. Um, Parks and Rec. That oh, show yeah. was always very, very funny. That is. Yeah. Just not, kind of like the office too. Those are characters. Each one, you could say like, oh, Tom, Tom's my favorite, or you know, John Ralphio. <laughs> <laughs> I think John Ralphio. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna go with uh, last but not least, Workaholics. It uh, it was. It's over now, but when, when it was on, it was just. Laugh just a minute. We laughed or. Laughed a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it was a solid minute. Dumb, dumb college humor, but I was in college during the time, and I thought, you know, it just spoke to me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to a sitcom from my youth, and uh, it's one of those things I grew up watching. I still love watching it, and I've loved the uh, kind of the sequel that they've done for Netflix, and that's Full House. And uh, just, you know, you grow up, you watch those characters, you grow up with those characters, and uh, just love them. How can you not love Danny Tanner? You should have. Jessica Sopolis. You should have stolen that <laughs> instead of friends, and I would have gone, how rude. <laughs> have mercy, Mom. <laughs> watch the hair. Got the hair, huh? <laughs> um, my number three, uh, I think 
New Girl. That show is, oh is my very God, funny. I'll never forget New very Girl. Funny. Oh. Very funny. That is, oh, man. It I, was tough. I was either going to say it was going to go way back and pick the Andy Griffith show, which if you watch it, is hilarious. Woo-hoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Barney is, oh, those characters. So great. New Girl is definitely great. Oh, it's that, hilarious. It's top three worthy. <laughs> There you, have it. there you have it, guys. Top three TV shows, comedies. We're going to keep Stan. Tajikistan. We're Actually, gonna... from the ungoverned region of Gorno Batikistan, where no one's really sure who's in charge here in this part. Tajik- of the, world. the Tajikistan government does not rule here. <laughs> it is literally an ungoverned. Yeah. They have their own thing. We needed a visa for this section. Stupid. It's, uh, we're out in it. It's lawless. Yeah. Anything goes. We're about this close to Afghanistan. We'll be closer in a couple days.